Welcome to Thumco Products. This instructional video is for the model ACC RT8017, a dual probe vaccine temperature data logger. Items included with the logger are two vaccine bottle probe sensors, 110 volt AC power adapter, a three foot USB cable, micro SD to SD card adapter, two gigabyte micro SD card, micro SD card reader, three AA batteries, a product manual, and an ISO IEC NIST traceable certificate for two years. All right, quick overview of the unit. Up top is your LED alarm indicator, display, two buttons, set and clear. The set button is used for configuring date, time, min, max alarm values. The clear button will reset the min, max recorded values back to the current temperature of the probe temperatures. On the right hand side, you have an SD card slot, USB port for powering and downloading data, a flip out desk stand, and on the back, you have your battery compartment for the three AA batteries. Up top, you have a selection switch for center grade or Fahrenheit, a unit reset sets it back to factory, power on off, and up and down value selection buttons for configuring date, time, and min max values. And on the left hand side of the unit, we have two keyed probe jack ports. All right, so let's assemble the unit now with all the components, get it ready to uh, configure. Take your uh, SD to micro SD card adapter your two gig SD card and place it in the bottom of the adapter. Open your slot for the SD card on the unit and turn the contacts facing upward. Place in the slot and to press until you hear it click. Shut the door. Let's uh, install some batteries. and install the probes. Remember I said they are keyed. You see there's a little tab on the jack and on the probe so they can only face downward or totally upward. And we're set to go. Now that the unit's powered on, we can see the display is broken into three sections. The top two are for the probes. Uh, the large digits are, is your current temperature, and to the left is your max, and to the right is your min temperature for P1 probe. The P2 probe, same thing, current, max, min. Lower left-hand corner, you have a battery symbol, and if that is flashing, you need to replace the batteries. And to the right, you'll see the time and the symbol SD. The SD means that the card is installed. If you do not see the SD, but just strictly the time, that means the card is not seated properly or is defective. Okay, before moving forward, we need to determine what temperature scale and values to use for our alarm set points. For example, storing vaccines in freezers the CDC recommends the temperature range be minus 50 to minus 15 degrees C or minus 58 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperature range for refrigerators be 2 to 8 degrees Celsius or 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. This information can be found on page 13 of the Vaccine Storage and Handling Toolkit. It's a PDF available on the CDC website. Once you know the temperature scale, and the low and high values you want for your alarms, you are now ready to configure the logger. Okay, we're ready to configure the unit. First up, date and time. In order to do that, you have to press the set button and the down arrow button on the back, to pressing them both simultaneously until the 12H shows on the screen. 
12H stands for 12 hour format. You have two choices, 12 or 24. I choose the 12 hour format or press the set button to make my selection. Next up is the year. Once again, up and down arrow keys to scroll through the different choices. I choose 2018, press the set, make my selection. Month, once again, up, down. It is January. I will press the set button to make my selection. And today's date is the second. Once again, you can scroll backward, forward. Today's the second. I will depress that to make my selection. Our format, it is 12. But again, to show you, by going back, you go to 11 a.m. in the 12 hour format, go forward to 12. I'll press set to make my selection. And it is 22 minutes after. I'm gonna depress the button and hold it, and that will scroll quickly forward. And then depress once to get to the 20, it's 23 minutes after now, 23. Press the set to make the selection. The unit is now configured for date and time. We will now do the alarm set points. Okay, we're just about ready to set our min-max alarm limits. But before we do that, we need to decide what temperature scale we want represented in our reports and on the display. I prefer a Celsius scale. So in order to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, turn the unit over and just move the selector switch from F to C for centigrade. If you prefer a Fahrenheit scale, just move the selector switch to the F position. Okay, now to go into the um, settings for min-max, you would depress the set button, hold it until the word C or something similar to that shows up in the time area and release the button. You can now see we have minus 10 degrees for a low on P1. I like to monitor a refrigerator and use the CDC recommendations of two to eight. So let's set the low two degrees and go up. Two degrees C. I want that selection, hit the set. Now we want eight degrees for a high. I may cut away to save time on the video. Eight degrees C. Okay, hit the set, make the selection. And now do the same for P2. P2, let's say I want to monitor a freezer. Temperature range, CDC recommends, minus 50 to a high of minus 15. So let's go to minus 50 for a low. Minus 50, hit set to keep that selection. Now let's set the high, minus 15 for a high. and minus 15 degrees C for high. Hit set, and now we're presented with the logging interval. You can log from one minute to 720 minutes or 12 hours. CDC recommends a minimum of 15, uh, record every 15 minutes. There's enough room on the, on the data card. I say, why not do 10 minutes for a little better data resolution? So let's go to 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Hit set. and everything's configured. The alarm went off because our set points for fridge and freezer are lower than the ambient room temperature. You can see the excursion shown by high in both the uh, probes. And also you know that the alarms are activated because of the little bell. If you want to deactivate the alarms, you just hit the on off button once in the back of the unit. And that deactivates the alarm section but you're still logging and you can still keep your data. Now, when you're ready to deploy the unit and place it where you want, put the probes in the fridge and freezer, let them stabilize the temperature, and then activate your alarm. And that would be by just pressing the on-off button very quickly once in the back of the unit. And again, to mute it, just hit the set button or the on-off button once in the back, and that will mute the audible part of the alarm. But you will still have your LED flashing telling you that there is an excursion currently. Okay, now that your unit's completely configured, 
with date, time, your min-max alarm settings, and your temperature probes have stabilized the temperature, you're now ready to start recording data to your SD card. In order to start recording, all you need to do is to press the set button for approximately six seconds until on record shows on the screen. And then release the button. You are now recording to the SD card in the logging interval that you set earlier. You know you're recording because you can look down in the right hand corner where the time is and you'll see that it toggles back and forth between the time and the words REC or record. When you're done recording or you're ready to download your data either via USB cable or through the SD card and SD card reader, you will need to stop recording first. So depress the button again, hold for approximately six seconds, and you'll see off record on the screen. Now you can safely remove the card or connect the uh, data logger to the PC via USB. To reset the min and max stored values in memory, press and hold the clear button until the min max values display hyphens. The min and max values are now set to the current temperature for each sensor. This resetting closes the data file that was logging up to that point and creates a new CSV data file.